Today's episode of NCIX Tech Tips is going to feature something very special, and that is the first of its kind. This is the Seagate Momentus XT, and there is something very special about this otherwise completely ordinary looking hard drive. So this is a regular Momentus 7200 RPM laptop drive. This is the Momentus XT. The Momentus XT combines this with one of these. So it actually takes the advantages of a hard drive, which is large capacity, okay, so it's available in up to $150 for 500 gigs, which is not how I meant to say that, but that's okay. So it's only about $150 for a 500 gig drive, whereas if you look at 500 gig SSDs, they're incredibly expensive, but it also has some speed benefits because it has an SSD, a very small one, built in. So you get the best of both worlds. And what we're going to look into today is deeper into the performance characteristics of this drive. And I'm going to read a little bit of the surprise and tell you, we actually discover that in frequently used tasks, it will even outperform some of the fastest full-size hard drives on the market today. Storage is undergoing an evolution right now in that we used to only have hard drives and I'm going to start with my first example. This is the Western Digital one terabyte black hard drive. It is a three and a half inch drive and this is what you would typically think of as a desktop storage device. The reason I'm using this one is it's a good example of a high performance hard drive without breaking the bank or anything like that. Now hard drives obviously are available in a number of different form factors and I'm just going to show you quickly a laptop hard drive. So this is a two and a half inch form factor. You can see right off the bat it is much, much smaller than a three and a half inch. And two and a half inches over the last few years have actually begun to seriously close the gap against their desktop hard drives, with some of them even being faster, such as the Western Digital Velociraptor. Now, for the sake of our test today, we're going to be comparing more like a typical 7200 RPM one against its competition. So at the other end of the spectrum, we have SSD drives. This is the OCZ Vertex. It is a 120 gig SSD drive. So the first thing you'll notice about it is that compared to a typical notebook or desktop drive, it is much, much smaller in capacity and it's also much more expensive. At about $300 right now for a Vertex 120, it's one of the most expensive storage solutions you can get for a desktop or notebook computer because that's what we're moving towards is one standard for desktops and notebooks. Another solution that we have here today is, you know what, I'm not going to talk about this one quite yet. Let's do the Momentus XT first. So the Momentus XT, as I said, it's an evolutionary process. The Momentus XT represents the next step. This looks just like a typical two and a half inch notebook hard drive and it also kind of looks like an SSD if you use your imagination a little bit. They're sort of, they, I mean, they're both SATA 2, they both have a similar form factor, but I mean, you know, this looks like a hard drive. It's got the, uh, the spindle here where the platters inside are spinning around. So it is still a hard drive, but it has a four gig built in SSD that gives it performance characteristics that are unlike anything that can be built even in this form factor. And the last one I have today is kind of another, uh, it's included more as a curiosity than anything else. This is the Silverstone HDD Boost. What you do is you take an SSD and you strap it onto a hard drive and you can actually use it to assist the hard drive in much the way the Momentus XT does it. The difference is that you can strap on an 80 gig SSD, a 32 gig SSD, or even a 500 gig SSD if you felt like it. You don't get to use the SSD for storage, but it treats it like a big cache for frequently accessed files, and it works exactly the same way as the Momentus XT. So you get SSD-like performance on a small portion of your files. In this case, you can dictate how much that is, and then you get normal hard drive performance and normal hard drive storage out of the entire solution. So I've given away a little bit of the magic behind the Momentus XT. What it does is it takes that four gigs and uses it as a giant cache. We've had cache on hard drives since pretty much the dawn of time, so this is nothing new, but the difference is that instead of maybe an 8 meg or, or even at the high end a 64 megabyte cache, now we have an 8 gigabyte cache. So things like booting up Windows are going to be real fast as you are about to see. The cameraman came up with a much better analogy than that highly technical thing I just made you sit through, so I'm going to run through it really quickly here. The WD one terabyte black, this is a 747. So it gets the job done, it doesn't go super fast, but it hauls a lot of stuff. 
That is what a desktop hard drive is good for. The laptop hard drive, this is the Momentus 7200 RPM drive. Well, this is kind of like a Cessna. It's your own personal plane, so that's pretty cool, but you can't haul around a particularly large amount of stuff in it, and it doesn't go real fast. Next up, we have the Vertex SSD. This is basically like having your own personal F-15 fighter jet. It goes super fast, doesn't carry very much at all, but it goes really fast. There you go. This, the HDD Boost, is kind of like um, a 747 with like a fighter jet like strapped to it with duct tape. So yes, it works, but it's not quite as elegant a solution as say, for example, the Momentus XT, which is basically like taking your Cessna, doing some modifications to it, to it and throwing a jet engine on it. So you get, say, the fuel economy of using a propeller, but then you also can get speed boost when you want to turn on the jets and go real fast when it's most optimal. Now behind me, I have a really boring chart full of lots of data, but I'm going to show you all about it anyway, because that's what you are tuned in to find out. Okay, so the way this works is I'm using PC Mark Vantage on a six core system with lots and lots of horsepower. Okay, you can see obviously right at the top is the Vertex 120. It's a fighter jet. It blows everything else away. That's what they do. Okay, so that's completely expected. Next, we have the hard drive boost which falls somewhat in between the Western Digital Black 1 terabyte on its own at around 10,000 points and the Vertex 120 at 17,000 points. It has 13,500 PC Mark points. So what that means is that performance of this system using a jumbo jet strapped to a fighter jet is about in between each of them on its own, but you get all that huge storage and you get some of the speed benefit. Now, I want to explain this a little bit here. The Momentus XT scores quite a bit lower on its first run of PC Mark, but I got a little confused at that point and I went, well, no, it should score higher. As soon as I ran the benchmark again, the Momentus XT had already learned which files it was going to need next, and it put up numbers that just blew away the Western Digital Black 1 terabyte in all three of the next few runs. So that was one of the most interesting things, and I, what I did is I went right into the results, and I checked out exactly what happened in that first PC Mark run. So that first PC Mark run, this is the hard drive score from it, but this is the overall score. And the reason is that the first time it ran something like, say for example, the hard drive gaming test, we only got 13 megabytes per second of performance out of it. That's not very good. But the second time it ran it within that same test to do the hard drive test, it got 40 megabytes per second. So within running this one test, the performance of the drive tripled and that's the power of the smart SSD management that the drive is doing completely on its own. You don't have to prompt it in any way. So after that we've got the black which performs quite a bit lower than the Momentus XT in applications that you're going to use all the time and then finally we have our poor 7200.2 laptop hard drive which is about half the performance of the black one terabyte. Now the next one is boot time. Now I was rebooting the systems every time in between running these tests and what I discovered is that by the final reboot, so once the Momentus XT had learned where all of my Windows files were, it not only outperformed in PC Mark Vantage but it also booted four seconds faster than a Western Digital 1 terabyte black. So you can see all of the boot times here and they land exactly where you'd expect them with the Vertex 120 coming in by leaps and bounds ahead of everything else and the 7200.2 traditional laptop drive coming in dead last. Thank you for checking out NCIX Tech Tips and I hope you've enjoyed our coverage of this incredibly interesting new drive from Seagate.